The ceremony was broadcast live on state television with plenty of fanfare. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad announced what he called milestones in the country's nuclear program. For the first time ever, Iran has started using its own locally produced nuclear fuel, and the country has acquired 3,000 new and faster centrifuges, greatly expanding Iran's uranium enrichment capability. Mr. Ahmadinejad insisted all these developments are for the greater good. I am announcing that within the regulations of the agency, we are ready to share our nuclear know-how with IAEA member states. The U.S. government sought to downplay the significance of the announcements. We frankly don't see a lot new here. This is not big news. In fact, it seems to have been hyped. This strikes us as calibrated mostly for a, a domestic audience. And the spokeswoman repeated the U.S.'s call for Iran to open its nuclear program to completely unfettered inspections and to abandon what the U.S. calls Iran's desire for nuclear weapons. She added the announcement was proof that economic sanctions on Tehran are working. In response, Tehran reportedly is putting pressure on its European oil customers to sign long-term agreements, something that the new sanctions likely will prevent. Saudi Arabia has already suggested it will boost oil production to cover any drop in Iranian oil sales. The situation for the U.S. is complicated. It's not just a matter of it trying to contain Iran's nuclear ambitions. It's also trying to deal with the stated desire inside Israel to perhaps launch a military strike against that country. It's also trying to deal with Russia, which has its own ideas on how to deal with Iran's nuclear program. Indeed, early reaction from Moscow suggested Russia is publicly unconvinced that Iran's nuclear program is headed towards bomb making as the U.S., Israel and many other nations allege. Meantime, nuclear scientists say that Iran's improved ability to enrich uranium does not mean it has become a grave security threat to the West. If they've got the capability of producing that material, then it means it's un very difficult for observers like myself to say when they will be nuclear capable in a weapon sense. All the more reason, say U.S. officials, to stand firm on the sanctions and diplomatic pressure and to avoid a military conflict that could quickly spiral out of control. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.